Don't all jump up and shout at once. I think it's great you want to go over here. Oh, thank you. There's a start. <laughs> What's the matter with the rest of you? Not even an attaboy? Come on, you're getting exactly what you want. I'm happy about your decision. So, why not go now? One of us can drive you. What's the rush? Shady Brook will be there in the morning. You might not be. I just said I would check myself in. God, you people won't take yes for an answer. Oh, wait. Oh, you think I'm going to make a run for it? That's it, isn't it? What's the matter with you people? I've had my come to 12 step moment. I've agreed to voluntarily check myself into rehab. What's the difference if I do it now or in eight hours? He's agreed to go. This is what everyone wanted. Tomorrow is as good as tonight. I will drive you there and help you settle in, and I'll stay with you as long as they let me. Well, this is new. I didn't realize that going to rehab meant I would give up all my independence and my personal responsibility, and I'd have to be carted around and dropped off like a child. What is going on? I, I mean... He's doing what we've asked of him. Why are we not being more kind? His life is at stake. That's the priority right now. Luke, now that you've made the commitment, it's critical that you, that you go now. If I can talk myself out of this between now and dawn, my commitment wasn't that great to begin with. You're either ready or you're not. I said I am. Okay. Then let's go. This is unbelievable. The mistrust in this room is amazing. I'm actually insulted. If you don't mind, I'd like to speak to my father alone. What do you want to talk to him about? Hey, if Lucky needs a private word, I have no objections. No, I do. Don't make him change his mind. I just need a few minutes. Lulu, it's okay, honey. I'm fine. Lulu, come on. Let's go. I need your help. Your dad's going to be fine. He can take care of himself. Come on. I uh, guess it means us too, yeah? Yeah. Whatever you decide, I wish you well. Thanks, Nick. Uh, if this is what you really want to do, then, you know, I support it, all right? If I don't see you for a month or two, well, kick some ass, okay? All right. Thanks, son. kind of hurt, realizing how I've broken the family's trust. You know why people don't believe you? Because you lie. Not because you want to, but it's just what addicts do. They lie to themselves first and then to the people they love and even to strangers just to stay in practice. They lie because they can't stop themselves and that's exactly what you're doing. You know what? You don't really need me for this. You can do this all on your own. Well, you're gonna walk out? I huh? heard you the first 1,100 times, Lucky! Okay, I'm sorry, Adam. All right, go ahead. Uh, let me hear it. You think I'm stupid, Dad? This meeting that you called to make your big announcement, you wanted a cover to say goodbye because you're gonna take off again. This is what alcohol has done to you. The once brave, daring, in your face Luke Spencer stands before me now, nothing. coward. I thought I could take another stomach full of your anger and rage, but I was wrong. So why don't you check me tomorrow morning before I shuffle off to Shady Brook? Hey, what was that uh, apology that you made to Lulu about anyway? Was it something to do with yelling at her? That's between me and your sister. I could always ask her. 
But what's the point? You know, she's just gonna cover for you. Oh, man, that's, 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 that's how far gone you are. You're completely content letting your only daughter blame herself for your own cruelty. And so you, you've set it up so that you don't have to examine any of this stuff. How, how you abuse women, how, how you treat people like crap. You, you let booze shield you, let it justify you. I drink, therefore I am. Oh, well, I've had enough of this. Yeah, well, I haven't. You drink because you don't want to look at yourself in the mirror and see your old man looking back at you. I hate to break it to you, Dad, but your worst nightmare came true a long time ago. You are Tim Spencer. The hell with you! You don't know Tim Spencer. You didn't have to live the way I did. You didn't have to be afraid in your own house. You didn't have to take the beatings after your mother was already unconscious and your little sister hid under the bed, terrified. The hell with you! <laughs> Is that what you wanted? Is that what you're trying to do here? Just show me how close I am to the edge? Trying to show me how much I need help, is that it? Do you see it now? squarely on the head. I'll give you that. What you said is true. I've always lived with the fear that I was going to turn into my old man, that one day I was going to look in the mirror and see his ugly face staring back at me. And you tell me that it's already happened. That I regret, I regret having hit your kid. I regret ending the life of a child. I'll never run from the responsibility of having done that. It's ironic, isn't it? The guy who said he doesn't live with any regrets in his life, now we'll live with it as a permanent condition. I know I failed you. But I've always loved you. It goes both ways. It's done. Dad's going to rehab. That's what you so desperately wanted. Why don't you seem pleased? I'm not sure if uh, the means justified the end. I was pretty hard on him. But I thought that tough love was the plan. Oh, yeah, it was, but I may have taken it a step too far. See, when I was on pills, I tried to get clean a number of times on my own, and it never worked. It just drove me deeper into despair. And you know what it was? 
that finally scared me sober? No. No, you've never said. I lashed out at Elizabeth. Physically. She, uh, she was pregnant at the time. I'll never forget that feeling of horror when I realized what I had done. But see, that that's what helped me finally realize that, that I needed to go to rehab. And I tried to force that realization on my dad tonight. It sounds like it worked. Maybe. Or maybe I pushed him too far. The 12 steps played a, a huge part in saving my life. I mean, I, I probably wouldn't be here with you as a functioning human being without him. So I, I have to believe that the process can work for my dad as well. You did everything you could for Luke. Try to be at peace with that. No second guessing, huh? Not if you're only going to beat yourself up. You know what this is like? It's like making a bet and going all in. I mean, I put everything on the line to get my dad into rehab. And he went, so it has to work, right? Because, I mean, if, if he says screw it, and he walks out and leaves, he, he might not ever come back. So if rehab doesn't work, I might lose my dad forever, and that... That scares me more than anything. <sighs>